We're gonna take some a little bit of Miss DIY. Because I'm gonna soften up the look because some girls don't like this the bright pink nail bed. But in all honesty, it just looks so much better. It looks so much brighter. The color of the pink for our French 123 Go and also for our Ombre 123 Go is actually the most universal shade that's flattering on pretty much every skin tone. Whether it be really fair skin, whether it be really deep skin, whether it be a warm tone, whether it be cool tone, everybody looks beautiful in the pink. It's a very universal shade. It's coral based and violet based. So that way it looks good on everyone. So that we didn't want to have to make like two or three different French nails, you know what I mean? We wanted to make something that was super universal for everyone. What comment did I appear? Oh, sorry. Thank you for noticing. There we go. And let's pin it again. There we go. Thank you. Hi, Antonia. I'm gonna make sure she is in place. I don't want her crooked. So let's bake it now. One minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. We have this weird haze too that I'm trying to get rid of, but I don't know what it is. The French is perfect. That is right. You don't have to paint it. You don't have to paint the French. No Tino shade. And I need to get my fantastic file because you already know Gloria moved it. Gloria moved it. It wouldn't be a max video without Gloria moving something. Oh, where's that file? Beautiful. No, it's a filter I used, actually. It's not a dirty lens. So I got this really cool filter and it makes me look like I have like tons of blush on my nose and I was like, oh, I think I look cute. And then I flip it around and it's still here. And I tried to take it away and it's not working. It's being, oh, there you go, dropping something. It's being insubordinate. So let us touch up the shades. And the filing on the French or the ombre nails is very minimal because they are hand painted so you do not want to remove the French effect or the ombre. And remember you guys, they are 20% off. Today is the last day at midnight. No tea, no shade. Stop using filter, I wanna look pretty. I need filters in my life. So let's blend in that cuticle. That is from the peel off base coat actually. It's like, uh, what do they call it when someone's drunk and then they look really good? Beer goggles, is that what they call it? That's what filters are, beer goggles. Let's remove the dust. We're gonna take our primer. We're gonna do a little bit at the cuticle area because that is going to melt it and blend it in perfectly. Because remember, you do not file or buff the top of the French nails. And we're going to use our black Baroque stickers, which I think were number, uh, what number were they? 31 or 29, if I can find them.
me one second, you guys. Oh, so many stickers in my life. I can't wait till we launch our sticker book so that way they can be organized. You already know I'm gonna have Gloria organizing because she likes to move everything around. Oh my gosh. They don't make beer goggles strong enough. So remember you guys, when we apply stickers, there are three essential tools. Our pink tweezers, our pink scissors, and our pink silicone tool. So we're gonna add some black Baroque to her, just to dress her up a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful. Let me change this song really quickly. Why is this not playing what it was supposed to? And then we're going to trim the sides to make sure it's nice and even. Beautiful. We are working on a sticker book. It just takes a long time to print. The stickers are just so stunning, aren't they? So we're gonna apply a little bit of Maxi Magic Film Glue because we're gonna do our rhinestone hack. And we're gonna cure it for 10 seconds. Do not cure it longer for 10 seconds because then the hack will not work. And we're going to add some diamond and some glitter to the phalange. So let's add some diamonds. I'm sorry. Oh, look how beautiful that is. And then we're going to add some Prisma Glitter. Oh, what is this one about?
we never have enough glitter. Perfect. Look how pretty that is. So elegant, isn't it? We're gonna bake this 30 seconds. And then we're gonna put a little wonder gel on top to seal it and make everything super glossy. Correct, but it's only available in the US and it ends today at midnight. And it's only for our French and our ombre nails. And that also includes the kits as well too. So now let's put a little bit of Wonder Gel. Everything is nice and glossy. So I'm going to turn the hand upside down just for a few seconds. Oh, thank you. And this is going to let that gel self level out and create a really flawless, smooth finish. Mm, look at that. And we're going to bake it for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling lap. I can't believe today is Thursday, you guys. Like, this week has gone by so quickly. I can't believe it's like almost June. Can you guys believe we're almost halfway through 2021? That is crazy. Oh, thank you. Which gel gives the strongest hold for the one, two, three go nails? Um, it comes down to your personal preference and how long you want to use them for. I would check out both. Both of them are super incredible. You're gonna love both of them. Beautiful. So let us apply a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. Remember after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wait 10 seconds. And then you apply cotton candy cuticle oil to keep everything nice and hydrated and moist. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. There is our beautiful Russian bride inspired look for today with our famous French nails and just a little bit of rhinestones, nothing too crazy. Doesn't look like I was hand painted, legit. Hi, Miss Jamie. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And don't forget to check out the best full coverage pre-made French gel nails on the planet. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.